November 5th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 1 John chapter 2 from the New Testament. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One, and He Himself is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for our sins, but also for the whole world. Now by this we know that we have come to know God, if we keep His commandments. The one who says, I have come to know God and yet does not keep His commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in such a person. But whoever obeys his word truly in this person, the love of God has been perfected. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says he resides in God ought himself to walk just as Jesus walked. Dear friends, I am not writing a new commandment to you, but an old commandment, which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have already heard. On the other hand, I am writing a new commandment to you, which is true in him and in you. Because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. The one who says he is in the light but still hates his fellow Christian is still in the darkness. The one who loves his fellow Christian resides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But the one who hates his fellow Christian is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I am writing to you, little children, that your sins have been forgiven because of his name. I am writing to you, fathers, that you have known him who has been from the beginning. I am writing to you, young people, that you have conquered the evil one. I have written to you, children, that you have known the Father. I have written to you, fathers, that you have known him who has been from the beginning. I have written to you, young people, that you are strong and the word of God resides in you. And you have conquered the evil one. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Because all that is in the world, the desire of the flesh and the desire of the eyes and the arrogance produced by material possessions is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away with all its desires. But the person who does the will of God remains forever. Children, it is the last hour, and just as you heard that the Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have appeared. We know from this that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us, because if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But they went out from us to demonstrate that all of them do not belong to us. Nevertheless, you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you all know. I have not written to you that you do not know the truth, but that you do know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is the liar but the person who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This one is the Antichrist, the person who denies the Father and the Son. Everyone who denies the Son does not have the Father either. The person who confesses the Son has the Father also. As for you, what you have heard from the beginning must remain in you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father. Now this is the promise that he himself made to us, eternal life. These things I have written to you about those who are trying to deceive you. Now as for you, the anointing that you received from him resides in you, and you have no need for anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, it is true and is not a lie. Just as it has taught you, you reside in him. And now little children remain in him so that when he appears, we may have confidence and not shrink away from him in shame when he comes back. If you know that he is righteous, you also know that everyone who practices righteousness has been fathered by him. God, as you know already, when I was uh, very young in my faith, I was having a discussion with the man who mentored me early on and I was really struggling because I wanted all good people my definition of good I wanted all of them to go to heaven and he was very patiently trying to explain to me that just because you're good doesn't allow you entrance into heaven that's not how that works and so that was my first learning experience 
of what John is actually talking about in this chapter where it says he himself is the atoning sacrifice for our sins and not only for our sins but also for the whole world if it only took goodness if it was only about us to save ourselves um, then there would be no point to your son dying on the cross for us there would also be no point for us understanding that we serve a god who's so big that we can't understand what sovereignty actually means um, your son sacrificed himself for every single person yet not all of those people will repent not all of those people will believe in the gospel and not all of those people sadly will have forgiveness freedom and eternal life with you and god i just i just pray for the people today who who were like me who really just wanted the good people of the world you know like the helen degeneres and the oprahs of the world um I wanted them to go to heaven because they were so good and they they were so kind to people and that is such a, a worldly view and, and looking back I truly thank you for sending somebody so patient into my life to teach me about what you actually say in the Bible about that that it is not about us that in our arrogance we want it to be about us we want it to be about our good works of somehow we get to be able to do something to earn our salvation and you're really clear it has nothing to do with us John 15 16 you chose us we didn't choose us <laughs> you chose us we didn't choose you um, your son died on the cross for us there is absolutely nothing we can do so that we can't boast in our own salvation it has to glorify you so God I pray for all those people who are good who have good hearts who are kind who who are generous people that they redirect their energy to your will for that gift that they have that kindness that they have can you imagine what they could do in this world with that kindness but have it be directed in your glory and i know that that will happen in your time that you'll put the right people in their lives to help guide them that you will change their heart at the right time that you want want that to happen god i also pray for the people who like me were or are still in that situation where they think that good people go to heaven or that all people go to heaven I heard that the other day that all people go to heaven um, God, I just pray that they learn the truth that they understand the incredible power of the sacrifice of your son we will never be able to as humans fully understand what your son did for us um, each time I study it I, I know a little bit more and a little bit more and every time I feel like I know less and less about just how big that sacrifice truly was and how I so clearly don't deserve any of it but he did that for me he did that for everyone listening to this video he did that for everyone in the entire world and God I just I just pray for everyone to come to the truth of understanding why your son was sacrificed and the fact that it all stems from how much you truly love us which is also a baffling statement um, that you love us so much that you are willing to sacrifice your son as the pure unblemished lamb the sacrifice for all of our sins all in the past currently happening and the sins that we will commit in the future God your love is so big your sacrifice through your son is so big your sovereignty is so big and I love that we serve a God that is that big and I just pray that other people uh, today start that walk start that relationship start asking those questions learning about you and the truth of that sacrifice the truth of the gospel the truth of the good news that we are called to share with other people and your son who made all of this possible. In your son's name I pray, amen.